lot of people find IVF extremely complex and confusing. <laughs> and I sometimes think doctors do this deliberately because if it's complicated and expensive, you can charge the patient a lot more. And the patient is not going to ask you awkward questions because you say, hey, it's so complicated that you're required to become a gynecologist and have so many years of training before you'll understand anything about it. So as a patient, please don't break your head about it. Don't bother your head about it. I am the IVF specialist. I know everything there is to do about IVF and you don't need to worry about it because I'm the expert. Actually, this is terrible advice. If the pregnancy rate in an IVF cycle was 100%, I'd say it makes a lot of sense because you don't need to ask your doctor anything. At the end of the day, you want a baby. You pay him his IVF fees, he gives you a baby, everyone's happy. The reality is IVF doesn't have a 100% pregnancy rate no matter what. And that's why you need to be so well informed about what an IVF cycle entails. Now doctors obviously being doctors love complicating things. They talk about so much stuff like embryo culture and in vitro fertilization and embryo implantation. Huge, large, complicated words and obviously the more complicated the word I guess the more complex the treatment must be and obviously that's why they can charge you more for it and they mystify the entire process. Oh, you require bed rest, you require all these injections and an IVF pregnancy is special and you require a cesarean section after doing IVF. Lots of hocus pocus and rubbish. Just don't listen to any of that. The reality is all we're doing in an IVF cycle is what's not happening in your bedroom, in your fallopian tube for five days, we're doing in the IVF lab in our test tube. That's all. It's your egg, your sperm, we're fertilizing it, making an embryo, growing it in the lab for five days and then putting it back into your uterus. And once we put the embryo back in your uterus, it's like any other woman's pregnancy. Women get pregnant in their bedroom all the time. The only difference is the eggs and sperm meet in the fallopian tube in the bedroom. So they don't know when they ovulate, they don't know when the embryo is formed, they don't know when the embryo reaches the uterus, when it implants, any of that stuff. So they're merrily unaware and everything happens naturally. The only difference in IVF is you're aware of the fact that we've put the embryo back mechanically or physically at the time of embryo transfer, but it doesn't make the slightest biological difference. The embryo doesn't care, it's spent five days in my test tube. Once it reaches the uterus, it's like any other woman's embryo. So conceptually remember, all we're doing in an IVF cycle is replacing the fallopian tube with a test tube for five days. That's it. There's nothing very special or complicated about it. And every IVF pregnancy is exactly like any other natural, normal pregnancy. So do not treat yourself as a patient, please. You're a healthy woman. We're just trying to help you to get a baby by doing what's not happening in your bedroom in the IVF lab. Keep it simple. Still confused? Feel free to reach out to me. I'm Dr. Malpani. I'm an IVF specialist. Our website is www.drmalpani.com and I'm happy to offer you a free second opinion on our website to help you to have a baby.